Hey yo, what's up everybody? Holmes here and welcome to Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. Uh, yeah, this is part of the Masters collection and I was deciding on which one to play. I was gonna go from 1 to one, two, 3 but the first one, I never played it before so I don't know how that's gonna go. Uh, the second one, I played this a little bit back when it first or around the time when it first came out and then I played the third one, I think I finished it, I can't really remember. Um, but yeah, and I have a friend that was, well, that is still like super into Ninja Gaiden, and I asked him which one he likes the most, and he told me Sigma 2, so since he's like a Ninja Gaiden fanatic, uh, I might as well go for the second one, and uh, yeah, here we go. Um, new game, I'm gonna be playing this on the normal difficulty because I am not some hardcore ninja gaiden like player so uh i don't want to get stuck somewhere and then having to spend like hours trying to beat that area so yeah this walkthrough is gonna be on the normal difficulty and maybe maybe this is not promised or anything if i feel up to it i'll do master ninja when it when i unlock it but as of now normal uh normal difficulty so yeah here we go and this is going to be chapter based, so we're going to be going through chapter by chapter, or chapter, yeah, chapter by chapter. And if you guys want to read the texts, you guys can pause the video and read that up if you so desired. それじゃあ、龍はやぶさがどこにいるのかあなたにもわからないわけ。誰にもわからんよ、忍者の行方なんざ。はやぶさの里におらなんだら地球の裏側やもわからんて。そにゃあ、さんとやら、龍に何
you hold up guard and as they hit you uh the game will actually teach us all this later as well ええ。いかにも久々に現れおった。Anyways, there's gonna be more enemies right here. You can hold a heavy attack button and then recharge up. Like what I consider kind of like an ult thing. And if there's like one of those essence things, you see those things right there, the yellow things. Uh, if there's those things nearby and you do your charge, you'll actually like charge up faster. So. And then you can unleash it. And it's like a really good way to take out enemies, I would say. Uh, basically, oh, and then here's like a little heal item here. Uh, whatever you, like, you guys can look up combos online, because there's more like advanced ones. I'm just basic, I'm just using the basic combos, the stuff that I feel comfortable with. Oh, no one's gonna, there we go. Yeah, the stuff that, ooh. And make sure you execute these guys. So if you they have like a limb that's severed, uh, an arm or a leg. If it's a if you sever their head, it's they'll just die. So you don't have to worry about it. But if it's like a they're missing a leg or something like that, uh, make sure you use the triangle button, the heavy attack, to finish them off quickly. Otherwise, they'll do this kamikaze thing where um, they grab onto you and then they'll explode. And really annoying when that happens because that thing does so much damage and they do it pretty freaking frequent too so yeah i need to watch out for that but anyways like i was saying um you guys can look up online like look up the the combos online and then like figure out what's what you want to do with it and stuff like that like what suits your playstyle more but I'm just using like, like I said, the basic, the basics of the basics. The Izuna drop, which is, you, you guys see me like go up and then you spin to go down. It's square and triangle and then once you get up, you hit it three times. And then after the third square, because you can't do it without an enemy here, so. Yeah, so he, he only swings once. So after the third hit, you press triangle again, it'll send the enemy back, straight back down. And it's what I find, like, to be the most effective, um, combat, like, thing to do against regular enemies. Like, if you don't want to be taking a lot of hits, that's probably, like, what you want to do. Um, yeah, and then once you kill one enemy, uh, it'll usually drop essence, and then you can use, like, once the essence are near you and you can charge it faster and you can try to get a free KO like that with your ultimate technique or it's what the game calls an ultimate technique. Get some heal up right here. Um, yeah. And then you can use R1 if you get, in case you get lost. But I feel like this doesn't work sometimes because like it, if you need to go into a river but it's like behind this wall, it'll still like you will like look towards that direction but there's nothing there so I don't know it doesn't work sometimes and an Essen and <laughs> so this is the Izuna drop right here it'll take care of most enemies uh, there are some enemies you cannot perform like if you're fighting like a dog or something like that or some sort of like animal type enemies uh, that trick will not work 
Is there still somebody, somebody around here or something? My health is not going back up. There we go. You can also parry. Come on. Parry works as well, like that. You're usually severed there. One of their body parts. Right here, we're gonna get our Nimpo, which is our magic, Heart of the Inferno. And you can kind of lock on to enemies and blast them with it, so just for the purpose of showing it off, usually I wouldn't do this. Send it right at him. But yeah, it does good damage, but it does waste one of those uh, things on the top, which you can gain back by killing enemies. Or using items. See those red uh, key items? The red essence is what it's gonna cost to use those Nimpos. God damn, like, <laughs> the executions look so good. So, so good. Uh, nothing down here. Just double checking. I need more guys here, so get ready. They occasionally throw like shoot against at you as they're charging up, but it barely does any damage, or maybe because of the uh, difficulty I'm playing on. Okay. Jesus. God damn it. Uh, okay. Thank you for coming down here. To your death. Who's alive? You're all dead? Okay. I hate this part because the platforming is a little weird if you end up falling down there. That that body will teach us about like taking out enemies who are missing limbs. Oh shit. Oof. That's what I'm talking about, they can grab you. And if like ones are missing legs and then they grab you, they'll just pretty much like instantly blow up on you. So it's pretty crazy. The obliter obliteration technique. So that's what that is about. And you can see our overall health is like, it's damaged by a bit. So as you're taking more and more damage, it gets chipped down. But you can reset that by just hitting up these statues. Using that drop, it's a must learn technique if you want to have an easier time with this game. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna find your <laughs> find yourself with a lot of problems, a lot of hard hardships playing through Ninja Gaiden. I oh, probably should have did that charge attack. Like so. Bye. And okay, they're all dead. So it takes a little bit getting used to. There's no lock on in this game, not like Souls games. So if you're used to like the whole Souls lock on thing, you're gonna need to like adapt it. I mean, it's not like it's it's not too difficult to adapt. I would say. Just pretend like you're fighting, you're playing souls with a lock on. <laughs> it's, it's probably the, the best I can give you. Sometimes I can like do souls with a lock on, like if you're trying to rush to backstab an enemy. I don't know why there's like a weird cutoff point right here. Like it glitches or something like that, like there's a stop frame when you come back up for some reason. Okay, we got these guys, so I'm just gonna charge up. So we'll take one out. Ouch. Okay. Whee! So satisfying. By the way, the yellow essence are uh, 
they are currency that you can buy stuff from in the shop, which it's not much to buy, just healing items. So if you like, if you need a hand up <laughs> from all the beating, that's what you can buy in the shop. I gotta say, like, the graphics don't look too bad for what in the remaster, or I think this is a remaster. It's an in, it's the it's the Master Ninja Collection or the Master's Collection. Buddha deciding to take take a stroll through Tokyo, I guess. That guy's still alive. Yep, he is. You're gonna be seeing that a lot. <laughs> just gonna see. And also, you can dodge by just doing this as well if you need to. This is probably your the only good dodge. I also, I've seen. God damn. I've seen players like. Ouch. Motherfucker. They do a lot of jumping. I don't know how efficient that will be. Uh, there's an item right here if you if this is your first time going through it. But since I've already gotten it before, it's not there. And then there's a platform in the bottom which. Sometimes you like you just take one swing and then their their body parts come off, which you know, I'm not complaining when that happens. The guys should be triggered. Yep. Also, if you're in a tight spot. You can do that to get out, and I'll explain about that button prompt real quick. Damn it. <laughs> so you jump and you press triangle like right after. You don't want to wait. And you also got to be moving forward, I believe. So like, like, like that, you're moving forward, and you press triangle. So if there's like a lot of enemies coming towards you, it's a very good... um way to kind of get around them and also you might get lucky with a few uh, decapitations and that will, that will drop down the, no, uh, the amount of enemies that you have to deal with so it's pretty good just gotta this is basically Dark Souls with uh, Dynasty Warrior Dark Souls meets Dynasty Warriors <laughs> it's all, there's always like a lot of enemies coming after you guys in this game or not like crazy amount but it's, it's decent amount and you have to like watch what you're doing you can't just kind of you can't just like be spamming one button I mean you can but there's a good chance you can you're gonna be taking a lot of hits and it's not gonna be fun especially if you can't like if you can't come across these checkpoints oh my god so the checkpoints are really good it heals you I don't know if it heals you full if you're almost dead I think it should Maybe it gets toned down on uh, later difficulties, but on normal it'll heal you full, I think. I don't think I've taken that much beating to find out. So it teaches us about that thing I was talking about. This It's a great way to like close distance and also, you know, get a few lucky shots. Like that guy, see? We just took out his head. Also that guy's like really annoying to deal with. Like, like mage. Uh oh, can't see shit. Okay. Who wants him? <laughs> Apparently, me. Try not to take too much like damage at this part, because there's a boss fight directly after. Bye! Mm. 
You get out of there. Motherfucker. There we go. And our health should be coming back. Okay. And then we fight the Buddha thing. This is, I guess, part one of it. There's two parts to this. Uh, you're not gonna fight part two until later. So this is our, like, boss of the area. Or the mission. That hand slam always does it. It always does it three times. And if it, if the hand flinches like that, be careful. Well, you don't really have to be careful because it just pretty much just pulls its hand away. It does have a grab attack that you can dodge through it. Be careful because even if you're back with its hand, it can still hit. Like, it can still grab you for some odd reason. And then after it goes down like that, just hit him in the head, and that's it for part one of this. Buddha thing. So yeah, like I said, dodge, hold the guard button, and then you move your left joystick. It's something I'm still trying to get used to. So we're making pretty good progress here. There's a healing item or a healing station, chest here to refill your nimple. We can now get a new weapon, which is the lunar staff. You can change weapons by pressing up. So I don't know, like depends on personal preference. This is actually pretty fun, I think. But I'm a little bit more used to the Dragon Blade. Later on we can get dual katanas, but that's like I believe in chapter four, so that's still a ways to go. Then we get more tutorial, ultimate technique, you can charge up. Don't you, I suggest you do that right now. Oh, the S and R is here. Is he gonna have one? Cool. You, I don't know. That's that's just so satisfying to watch. If you manage to pull off like those ultimate techniques in like a middle of a, a swarm fight, it's just it looks so good. So yeah, if you guys want to read those texts, just pa pause the video and you can read that up. And then this will teach you about the essence. So if there's essence nearby as you're charging it. You'll charge your ult faster. So over there, it'll give us like a little demo. There's a little secret item here or a secret area. So you get more healing items over there. Break these to get more essence. Um, yeah, here we go. Ow, fucker, where'd you go? Go. I think like this part right here, there's just constant flow of essence that just leaking out over there, so you can just abuse your ultimate technique for this little segment. Yeah, I'll deal with these fucking claw users. These guys are kind of annoying in my opinion to deal with. But since we got like <laughs> a little demo area, it makes it really easy. Watch out over here because there's gonna be two ninjas. Where the fuck they go? Where they go? That's weird. They usually show up, unless I'm remembering this incorrectly. But they should show up right here. Hmm, interesting. Well, I know there's two that shows up here. Eat it. Is he dead? Nope. Oh, he is now. And you want some? So it takes a little bit used to getting used to. It took me about like two hours to get used to the whole gameplay again. Uh, here's the shop. I'll just show you guys what it looks like. You can buy uh the key item or replenishes key. Gives you like your it's your nimple, and then your healing items. 
and then this is your um, revival item. So in case you die during any point at any point of the game, you can use this to bring yourself back. In case like if there's like an annoying ass boss fight, or if you're playing on high difficulty, that's probably gonna come in clutch. More story stuff. Yeah, even like if you lop off one of their limbs, don't try to like just slash them to death because like <laughs> sometimes it, they don't die that quick. So make sure you use like your heavy attack. Which is the triangle attack for the PlayStation. And then you can finish them off real quick that way. So uh, teaching us like a little, a little dodge thing. A whole bunch of guys coming at us, throwing shurikens and whatnot. You can just spam the ult right here. You can manage to like get it to connect. Like if there's essence, ouch, and you don't get blasted, <laughs> like Team Rocket. Make my own essence. Make sure you link the combo for the Izuna drop. Like right after the third hit, you you kind of have to watch reuse swing in the air. Otherwise, like you'll do it too early, or you do it you hit triangle too fast, and then he'll just do something else instead. So you have to watch it. And once we get up front, it's gonna be another cutscene, and yeah. Got more of these guys happening here. These no drop will make the make quick work of these guys. Two, three. Boop. So very important you learn that. The game will not teach you that until like I believe like way, way later on. So yeah. Um I mean I don't need the healing, but I'll take it why whatever. Might regret that decision. Anyways, the way to go is up. So we're gonna go down and grab uh, a chest. There we go. I don't really know any other way of like really move faster in this game. Other than the, the jump button kind of works, I think. Oosh. I just can't help it with ultimate techniques, guys. 
It just looks so good. I don't know what to say. Another chest up here. And that's pretty much it for the side chests, I guess. Mm. More story. I don't think we can, uh, <laughs> I don't think we can do a little fancy wall jump for that one. Uh, alright. i do this for this part. That leg muscle, though. What? I was cheated out of my ultimate attack. Oh, don't knock me back again. Elevator. Excuse me. Got roughed up there a little bit. But it's all good. Another shop here if you need to hit up the shop. There's no there's no like benefit from not healing, okay? I'm just I don't know, it's just like a personal challenge I'm going with. Like you don't get any any extra shit for not healing. So if you need a heal, go ahead. <laughs> I know there was a dragon statue in the bottom, but usually I get fucked up in this particular part here. So I'm saving that. As long as you don't- as long as you stay near the door- uh, I mean, stay away from the door, you won't trigger the next part. So hopefully, I can do that. Okay, motherfucker. That was not planned, by the way. I did not plan to bring him over to the freaking stairway. It just kind of happened. But I was trying to stay away from the door, though. That That's a fact. Okay, now that we cleared out all these guys, we got our HP'd up. Let's, let's do this. Well, you will not see the end of this day, I'll tell you what. I'm trying to like, play it more safe because it does this grab that comes out of nowhere sometimes. That's why you see me being like, kind of cautious. That one. It's really annoying. Oh shit, this is gonna hurt. You're not the only one with a Ninpo attack. It's okay, we still have, I would say, decent on HP.
女はくれてやるリュウハヤブザ所詮そいつは CIA のザコだ時間は稼がせてもらった Bring it on. Does a laser sweep and my ass got swept. I think that's like the only time that. Well, just as I said that, it does it again. God damn it. Oh, this is not looking good at all. You can block that, but you'll take chip damage. Like that, see? Okay. I'm getting lit up. Stop doing that. Bomb Sam, I can take that. Or not. The most annoying thing about this thing is it's the lasers. I gotta, like. If you can bypass the laser, you'll be fine. Grab. Like I said, if you even if you're like in the back of its hand, you can still be grabbed. And once it's stun, you stun them like that. It's pretty much done. Not the cleanest fight, but I will take it. CIA And that's pretty much going to wrap it up for part one of Ninja Gaiden. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable. And if you all found at least one of those qualities to be in this video today, stay tuned for more. But until next time, I'll catch you all later. Homes out.